Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. When Meghan Markle announced the launch of her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard, the upcoming event triggered a significant amount of speculation. The first details about the venture reveal a project path that many did not expect, with the likelihood remaining uncertain but balanced on aspects relating to its future success. Those viewers who are interested in a more detailed or close-in-angle analysis, as well as first-time reactions and comments from Meghan Markle and related parties are encouraged to watch the entire video clip. The Duchess of Sussex is seen trying to achieve independence from the royal family along with Prince Harry through a number of endeavors such as her latest project. The variety of products is immense, and aside from dog shampoo and chicken mash, yoga bolsters are also featured, indicating that this is a complete portfolio that the two are trying to market. Another recent happening is Meghan Markle's attempt to file trademarks for her business, and it has a broad range of products as per the trademark application extension revealed. This important milestone, which saw her Luke Johnson file documents with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, aims to trademark a logo with the initials ARO, arranged in a unique way that underscores her base in Montecito. Their brand launch forms part of Meghan and Harry's quest to create a new life for themselves and form a business they are interested in. The type of products they are offering is wide-ranging, suggesting that they are hoping to attract customers from all age groups. Whether or not this works will mostly depend on tribute considering the monopoly and the strategic market position they will create. One question that arises is whether the strategy is coherent enough, but it's also part of the diversification objective that high-end brands do by entering a variety of unrelated markets. Meghan Markle has also expanded at a pace that may conceivably indicate a certain degree of desperation, selling a wide array of products. Once again, comparing the beginning of her work on the brand with the existing major players in the wellness and lifestyle market, one can identify multiple additional risks. It is also important to mention that Markle has just started her way in entrepreneurship, and she seeks to achieve the influence and acknowledgement that famous actors and writers already possess. However, it is possible to assume that the level of attention and judgment if she actually achieved it, which is unlikely. It is also important to analyze the potential success of American Riviera Orchard, considering the vast number of products and the presence of existing brands that use the ARO letters. Persons' work ethics and ability to become that major source of influence without exhausting indecent efforts are also questioned. Another applied issue relates to public's reaction to on such business as American Riviera Orchard. It is suggested that every product purchased and sold by ARO would likely be contested, as many people do not perceive the former actress positively due to her controversial statements about the royal family. The comparison with Goop, an already established lifestyle brand, indicates the writer's doubts about ARO's ability to present any unique or genuine offerings. Mention of a diverse product line by Goop further implies the question of ARO's impact, importance, and value in any market offered. This account also reflects on personal and public challenges that Harry and Meghan have experienced during the transition from their royal duties to entrepreneurship. As such, the account already implies doubts and questions regarding the spectrum of ARO's productivity. The offered brand quadrant places queries seeking the nature of the prospective Meghan Markle's brand target audience. For instance, I doubt if it is made for the lowest class as such an affordable brand might be regarded as luxury brand pushing it out of every consumer in the class. The comment clearly generates doubt about whether the middle class is her target audience aspect of the brand. The writer also undermines or shows interest at the same time in liking or establishing viable product followership. More frankly displayed in the implied question concerning the source and regulations framework for the products. Here, a sarcastic expression seems to be suggesting potential interest. The question about the home fragrance might seem rhetorical but intended to insinuate Megan's sort of a home ambience. The mockery evident here is reflected in the writer's massage about trying out the product and speculates consumers' motivations to buy. Similarly, 
This typing ridicules the marketing media motif while insinuating the nature at which the product may be offered through such familiar social media mimic. Summarily, this is a story about skepticism and speculative merriment inspired by Meghan Markle's foray into the world of lifestyle brands. The concerns raised in this commentary include the concern if the products would sell a hair growth supplement featuring Prince Harry and the American Riviera Photoshop, the assumption of selling products procured at a low price and selling under a perceived premium brand which has proven to be a successful market strategy. The concerns highlighted in this story touch on the experiences of Meghan's controversial businesses such as T-Ravelist, the Jigsa W, and the TIG. They also raise suspicion about Meghan's confidence in both the businesses and her relationship with Prince Harry. This is inspired by views presented by the narrators whether she knows his financial and societal status. The narrator tries to consider the sidelines of independence at which Meghan and Harry have ventured to strengthen their distinctiveness from the royalty. However, he lacks the belief they might be genuinely independent given the judgmental tone in which references the titles they bestowed upon themselves and their desire to hold on to them. In summary, this is a story on skepticism, independence, and fun speculation on the businesses they are planning to run. While the text describes the couple's business efforts as heavily critiquing the royal family, it notes that diversifying into products like coffee, jams, and tableware might be a new direction. Another important and humorous point in this summary is public reaction and attitude towards Meghan's actions and status as a humanitarian. It concludes by suggesting that these partnerships keep financial support coming in post-Oprah. This summary captures the general narrative surrounding Meghan and Harry's attempt to make their own way outside of traditional royal roles, reflecting on the doubt shaped by skepticism about their causes and authenticity. It also includes a text perspective of a message that is critical not only about Meghan Markle's royal title but about the words of Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, whom the text prefers not to contact. It immediately expresses skepticism about Meghan and Harry's perception of their roles and provides an illustration, suggesting humorously that Meghan could sell toasters and turmeric. This reflects the idea of possible public misunderstanding since the public was also skeptical about one of her actions. It purports that they turned on her when Prince Philip was ill. Furthermore, Meghan's enjoyment of luxurious things and transition are also questioned in the following idea, pointing to a shift in values. It is evidenced by Oprah's interview, a defining work for her relationship to the monarchy, public, and money. Thus, the narrative encourages her to be more transparent, meaning being real will definitely better her image. This summary provides the tone of the critical viewpoint of Meghan's actions and the way she has to behave and feel in society. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.